Welcome to Ask Dr. Wife. Today we're going to be looking at oral dosage calculations. And what I want you to hear me say before we start is that there's more than one way to do medication math. So today we're going to focus on ratio and proportion. Also, these are the conversions that you'll find helpful as you're doing dosage calculations. This slide lists the conversions that are helpful for medication math. Let's start with our first question. Clopidogrel 150 milligrams PO or oral is ordered. How many tablets will the nurse administer? Well, first, I want you to pay attention to how Plavix or Clopidogrel comes. So look at the label. We see here that it comes in 75 milligram tablets. So using the ratio method, we're going to put the information that we know in a ratio format. 75 milligrams is in one tablet. We know that information from the label. So if we're trying to figure out how many tablets the nurse will administer, well, let's look at what the dose is, 150 milligrams. We're gonna put this up top because it's important that our labels are the same. So 75 milligrams, milligrams is up top, so we're gonna put 150 milligrams up top in our ratio. And then down below, this is gonna be X tablets. So in ratio math, you're going to cross multiply and divide. So 1 times 150 divided by 75 is going to give you x. In this case, the answer would be 2. You can do that in your head or you can do that with a calculator. I would encourage you to use a calculator to check your work if you decide to do it in your head. So the answer here is two tablets. Let's look at another one. Ferrosamide 25 milligrams oral is ordered. How many milliliters will the nurse administer? So again, paying attention to the label, we see that it comes 10 milligrams per one ml. So putting that information down, we've got 10 milligrams over one milliliter equals what is our dose? 25 milligrams. Again, we put it up top so that milligrams and milligrams are matching. And then we have XML because that's what we're trying to figure out the nurse would administer. So 1 times 25 divided by 10 equals X. And in this case, X equals 2.5 milliliters. So let's look at one more. Digoxin 0.125 milligrams PO or oral is ordered. How many teaspoons will the nurse administer? So again, we're going to look at the information we have about digoxin on the label. 0.05 milligrams are in one milliliter of this elixir. Our dose is 0.125 milligrams. And we're trying to figure out, in this case, teaspoons but we're gonna to wait to do that conversion until the end. So we wanna keep our denominators the same label. So it's gonna be X milliliters. Then we're gonna cross multiply and divide one times 0.125 divided by 0.05 equals, and again, using a calculator, X equals 2.5 milliliters. Now we're not done because the question is asking about teaspoons, and so now we need to do a conversion. We remember that one teaspoon is the same as five milliliters. And so we're gonna do our ratio. What we're trying to figure out is if we have 2.5 milliliters, how many teaspoons is this? So again, cross multiply and divide. This time, 1 times 2.5 divided by 5 equals 0 0.5 teaspoons. Or another way of saying that is a half a teaspoon. I hope this was helpful. If you have another calculation question that you'd like me to answer, please go to AskDrWife.com and ask your question. And if you have a question about nursing school or life, ask Dr. Wife. Helping others won't be so rough You are confident, compassionate, and so much more But sometimes it feels like you're not too sure So when